Okay, so thanks for this comment from SRV UK. Uh, we now have Fido S Beta for the Pi 5. Now, Fido S is based on Chrome OS. Uh, there's more details about it in the GitHub, but it is a really nice operating system. Runs really well on a Raspberry Pi 4, one of the best beginner operating systems. And I did try and write it. I downloaded the image and I wrote it to an SD card, but uh, it didn't work. And that's because the build only supports NVMe. So this is the first time I'm going to try and write an operating system to an NVMe drive. So let's give it a go. So I've used one of these kits with all these standoffs, specifically with these two. Uh, this one being the shorter one I put on the bottom of the orange pie. So you can see it here. Uh, and I've actually put a few more rubber feet on here that I got from the pound shop just to elevate it a bit so that this doesn't touch my desk. So now it's not scratching. Uh, the desk it was a bit too low before and if I pull this off carefully uh, you can see the little standoff inside there as well but however you fix it up to you so I'm using the Debian version of Orange Pi OS you can see that my NVMe drive is showing up not mounted yet so let's open a terminal and run nand-sata-install with sudo And pop your password in if you haven't changed it it will be orange pie and we need to do this option install update the bootloader on SPI flash so let's hit OK and yes so no progress while this is happening but we're waiting for it to say done on the bottom left of this box okay so done has appeared so let's close this one down so now I've updated the bootloader, I'm actually going to come out of this operating system because I think there's a much easier way of doing this. So let's shut this down. Remove the SD card from the Orange Pi. And I'm going to change operating system. So on this Gigastone SD card, I've got Armbian. Armbian is just the best Linux experience on the Orange Pi. Uh, I've got a separate video on how to install it, but I definitely recommend it for this process. It's just much, much easier. So let's switch off and boot up Armbian. So first of all, uh, we want to download the OpenFide software. This should work for all Linux systems on the Orange Pi 5 that are supported. OpenFide GitHub. And just click on that. You can see down the bottom there is an Orange Pi 5 version. Then we can click on the latest release and scroll down. There are instructions to do it a different way, but I, I like to stay away from the terminal if I can. So let's click on the download here. And while that's downloading, uh, if we open the terminal, Control-Alt-T, and what you want to do is type in sudo apt install rpi-imager. Now I've already installed it, but I'm going to hit enter anyway. Pop your password in. You can see it's the newest version, but if I didn't have it, that would have installed it. And this is a tool for installing operating systems on Raspberry Pis, but it works for loads of other things as well. So we call up the apps and start typing imager. I can then launch that. And now I just need to wait for that download to be finished. Four or five minutes left. Okay, so that looks like that's downloaded. So if I click on here, yeah, you can see one minute ago. So choose OS and go to custom. And it already picks the downloads folder. There's my OS. Choose storage. That's my NVMe drive that I've got screwed in. And hit right. And yes. And this should go pretty quick because it's writing to an NVMe, but it is writing from an SD card. Now you can also install Linux into Chromium OS or Fide OS, and I've got a separate video on that, and it should be the same as in my Raspberry Pi video, so I'll link that. Uh, once you've got this installed, you should be able to follow those steps and get Linux installed, install apps, install games, and use it within Chromium. Okay, so that's verifying nice and quick. Okay, that's all done. So let's close all this down and shut down this operating system okay so shut down
I can see it's not using any more power, so I can shut down, eject the SD card, and then switch on again. And hopefully, we'll boot into the NVMe drive running Fido S. Blue light come on, so the signal's coming through, monitors come on. There you go, open Fide. So let's get started. And I'll use a Google account. So it boots up really quick. Let's try the web browser and just try something like Hot UK Deals. You can see it comes up really, really fast because it's running a very lightweight operating system on a very fast drive with a decent processor. Uh, so let's go for BBC Sport. I thought it'd be interesting to see if Netflix works on this because it did on the Pi. Uh, so click on football, you know, just yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, this is running at 1080 on my desktop. Uh, it Because I've logged in with a Chromebook with this account before, it starts to populate all the apps that I would have had before. Uh, so you can see if I click on the sort of home button, uh, I can flick through and it's starting to, to load in the things that I would have used before. So something like Canvas Rider, uh, which is just a, a casual game, which I enjoy playing with the cursors and you can see it just loads up straight away just a web based game if we go back we've got the web store um, to to basically install Chromium apps uh, we don't get Android in OpenFide uh, you do in Fide OS which is available separately although I haven't seen a, an image for the Orange Pi 5 but it is available on this processor because it is on, uh, available on the Fide Tab Duo which has exactly the same processor as the Orange Pi 5 so it can definitely work and that has really good Android support and you get well really a, a nice combination of a full desktop browser you've got file support albeit uh, files in Chromium they don't give you access to loads of the system but then if you install the Linux container then that allows you to use Linux with file systems and then you add the Android apps to that. It's really quite a nice experience overall. So let's have a look at Netflix and see if that's going to work. I can't remember. I have cancelled my Netflix account. Oh no, so I'm not in my Netflix account. Okay, we'll try, we'll try um, Amazon Prime. Ah, okay, your web browser is missing a digital rights component. So maybe it's not going to work with the video streaming services. And it does feel very snappy. But I mean, that is to be expected with such a lightweight operating system. Uh, let's play a bit of video and go full screen. Let's skip the adverts. And so it's going for 1080. Uh, let's right click and do stats for nerds. And let's skip these trials and things. Right, so four frames drop, 50 frames drop, but it was just sort of getting into its stride. Yeah, it seems to be working fine now. Yeah, happy with that. And so if we go, let's just see if there's anything else worth having a look at here. COG was like a, a system monitor um, thing that I use, so you can see the temperatures uh, in Fahrenheit. CPU usage, what Chrome version we're using, and so on. Yeah, not a lot else there. Uh, all the settings and everything on the right hand side. So you can see I can sign out of my account. I can use Microsoft Office 365 with this, uh, so the web browser version. But I can also go into the settings app and say I wanted to enable Linux, I would just start typing Linux, set up Linux development environment and turn on. And uh, well, it says recommended 10, but I've got a 256, so let's go bigger. Let's give it 40 gig. Okay, so now we have Linux, so we can do sudo apt update. I would imagine it's already up to date as it's just installed it, but you never know. Oh, it's struggling to connect. So oh, let's, let's just try, it says it's all up to date, so sudo apt install xmoto, and let's see if that works. Yeah, that looks all right. This is a way of installing, say, something like LibreOffice if you want an offline office um, to be able to work in within your Chrome environment instead of relying on Google Docs, because obviously you can use Google Docs with all of this and all of the Google services if you want. So it does seem to be struggling to find it. And whilst it's struggling to do that in the background, this is the Fide Tab Duo, so this has a removable mouse keyboard 
uh, also has a pen as well. I've got a separate video on this. Uh, also has a cool kickstand, uh, but this uses exactly the same processor, uh, the 3588S, as we use in the Orange Pi 5. Okay, seems to be working now. I did a restart and uh, I've done sudo apt update and you can see that it looks like it's working. So let's try upgrade and see if it does something. Yeah, it's all working nice and snappy now. Just need a restart. What's a lot of updates. Okay, so that didn't take long at all. So let's try sudo apt install xmoto again. Yeah, that's more like it, that. It's whipping through. I'm not sure if I can launch it from here. I can. Haven't heard any sounds yet. I think this game usually plays sounds on the menu. So let's just try, I'm going through a little USB sound card at the moment. Let's just try plugging it into the three and a half mil jack. Oh, there you go. So the three and a half mil jack on the Orange Pi works. Uh, let's just see. I love this game. Oh, and I'm, and I'm really good at it as well. Graphics look good, nice and sweet. I mean, it's not going to struggle with something like this. Uh, and there are loads of other Linux games you can try on it as well. So let's close that down. Yeah, actually really nice. Uh, really impressed with that. Oh, when you when you install a Linux app, it comes up in here in this folder. So you can see Xmoto, you can just launch it as if it was another Chromium app. But uh, yeah, really, really good. Uh, more and more operating systems coming for the Orange Pi 5. And I'm actually really pleased at how well the NVMe boots because reading through the instructions it seemed like it was going to be so complicated and I like the fact that I can just write uh, I mean it's obviously the Linux based operating systems you can write in the same way as this so just use Raspberry Pi Imager now that we've updated the bootloader I'm going to do a separate video testing what works now I've updated the bootloader uh, so if all my SD cards work uh, with the NVMe present anyway I hope all this helps thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe